Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. I wanted to start the episode at the, um, where I ended it off last time, right outside the hole there, but, um, I didn't know that the boulders would be put back, or the rock, I didn't know that the rocks would be put back, so I couldn't exactly go back over there quickly, and I don't want to break them again, so I'm just starting the episode here. Did I do the intro yet? I don't know. Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor. Previously on Wind Waker, we bought the fourth bottle, got the hurricane spin, like this. Oops. Didn't mean to do that there. But um, we got the hurricane spin by uh, handing in, by turning in the uh, Knight's Crest to Orca, ten of them. And then we got a piece of heart for doing it 500 times. I mean, there's 300 times. And then you, the or the first one is 100 times, and then, and then the second one is 300 times, and then the third one is 500 times. I was checking on stuff to ju just to see where I was according to where Trucker Conroy was in his Let's Play, and I saw that there was that it that the that was the 500 times thing, and that just reminded me it's it's somewhere in there I don't remember exactly. And then there's 900 times I didn't get that, but I mean I can try again some other time. And then we got another treasure chart from the Bat Cave, all the way up, all the way up there. And then we got some stuff from the water, and then. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yep. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start the... Let me see. Start the Earth Temple. I can't remember which one it is. I'm gonna go down here first. See you at Outside Island. Okay, now that we're at Outside Island, uh, I need to... Oh, that's not the right way. Yeah, and there's that, the... Um, I think that's the temple up here. Now, I don't know if this is the Earth Temple or the Wind Temple. We'll just have to see. Oh, here's the flag things to go through. In the the barrels. The fish is over here. We need to feed them first. Oh, this is Headstone Island. I think this is the entrance to the Earth Temple. Small fry. There's a real heavy stone head blocking a cave on that island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Heh <laughs> Let me tell you a great secret. If you go north four squares and east three squares to Fire Mountain, you'll find an item that gives you this, the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you could lift that stone and toss it out of your way as if it were light as a feather. That's it. Oh. I'll probably go back to this one. And then there's something over here and there's a gunboat. But I want this, whatever is in this. There we go. Oh, just a red rupee, okay. I am pretty sure that this is the right one. Oh yeah, there's rupees out there. In there. On the 
And the fish moved. Yeah, this is the right one. Yeah, this is Headstone Island. Oh. Gunboat. Now, I'm gonna hide behind this, or I'm gonna hide right here. Hopefully I can't get hit by the gunboat. And I'm going to pull out the Hioi pair, which apparently I learned from, I don't know exactly, but I think it was Digino Gaming, that it was actually not translated. And Hioi actually would, if they did translate it, it would be Possession. Oh. Oh, you can't do it right there. I didn't know that. I thought it would just let you do it. Oh, and here's a... Blue Rupee up here. There's something up here that I watched. I don't know if I mentioned this. But I, um... Remembered... Trigger Conroy's, um, I saw in Trigger Conroy's series. Up here, see, there's a piece of heart. Now I need to... I want to get the rupee. The yellow rupee. No. Okay. Um, no. Let me see if I can get the ones down here. I doubt I can. It takes so long to have the, have them fly back down. This is actually what I thought I, um, had to, I mean, there's this and then another thing. That's later. Oh, I missed that one. There we go. And then there's... I already got that one. And there's some more over here. There we go. Now we can just return to land. And we get another piece of art. And now let's just lift this thing. There we go. I'm not gonna put anything on X. And we walk in here and it's just this thing. Just this big rock. You can hear some music. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Hmm, I wonder what I need to do. Oops. Wonder what I need to do. No, no I need to. So it's down, down, center, right, left, center. And we have to... Ah. Wait. Down, down, center, right, left, center. Oh. I didn't do it in the right spot. Oh. 
You learned the Earth God's lyric. A great hero, chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Lar Laruto. I am a Zora Sage. For an age, I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that the power to repel evil would ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in the Red Wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years. It survives. The song you just conducted is one which will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you. So, we learned that um, we need to go play that song for someone that has a harp-like instrument. I wonder who that is. That's cool. They, it actually puts the other instrument on there. Oh, and you can play it. And it puts the other instrument on there, the instrument that you need to look for. So, well, there's nowhere to go, but... Dragon Earth's Island. Do you hear that? That's a hint. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, Link, you're okay. You know, Prince Kamali's been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound, hee <laughs> hee. Well, I'd better continue practicing so that I can be useful around here too. Performing music like this is an important duty of an attendant. Such is the attendant's duty. Hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow. Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. Hmm, what a mysterious song. This sounds so familiar. It's almost as if something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Oh, I feel... Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something, something that I must do. Link, thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I'm a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please, you must take me to the Earth Temple. We must hurry and wake the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. Let's go now, quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali, I just want him to remember me as a simple attendant. And it's been revealed that Medley is the Sage of the Earth Temple. So let's just Actually, what happens if I talk to the boat? What is the matter? Quickly, guide this one to the temple so the Master Sword can regain its power. Can we talk to Medley? Link, 
What's going on? We must hurry to reach the Earth Temple. Get it. Medley doesn't look very impressed. Which is actually very unfortunate. Frame to stop on. Or to freeze on. Alright, now we can go back to the Earth Temple. Let's make it daytime. Music. Briefly, the Outset Island theme played, which I find to be interesting. Probably because we're within the Outset Island Square. Oh, it's storming now. Oh. We just automatically warped to the front, I guess. Medley, listen carefully to what I am about to tell you. The temple ahead is the nest of an evil creature. The same creature that stole the life of your predecessor, the sage. It is a dark and frightening place. This actually reminds me a lot of Breath of the Wild. Now that I think about it. That is why, if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If Link comes near you and presses R to call you, then be silent and follow closely behind him. And if Link presses A, allow him to lift you. And if need be, fly and carry him through the air. And Link. If Medley gets stuck and cannot continue in the, te the temple, use the Wind Waker to conduct the song you learned in the Tower of the Gods. Do you understand? Link, protect Medley. And Medley, protect Link. The power to repel evil shall surely be retur returned to the Master Sword. All right, now we have Medley following us. Like when uh, Tetra was following us. What happens if we leave? Does she just go onto the boat? Oh wait, no, she stays in here. Oops, yeah, she's right there. And so you can pick up um, you can pick Medley up and then drop. Now what we need to do is... Oh, it just crumbles like that. I thought it stayed there, but it just slid all the way apart. And this is the Earth Temple. And we just jumped down a hole. And now we're in the Earth Temple for real. And that takes us back up. But I think, before we go on too far, I think that's about it. I mean, that's about where, um, this, this is probably a good place to stop before actually going into that door there. I don't want to have this go on too long after all. But we didn't, we didn't do all that much. So, I hope it's not too short. So, um, goodbye for now.